modern terms, Eliza was an early day chatbot. However, what she evoked from participants represented so much more. Eliza was built in the early 1960s as a first program that attempted to capture the communication between people and machines in a way that emphasized empathy. In 1966, Joseph Weizenbaum recognized the early potential in the computers of his day to not just code and do scientific calculations, but to actually serve as a utility for the human experience, and for Eliza specifically, to be a tool for emotional connection. So with Eliza, uh, the objective was to create seamless interaction in such a way that a person talking about their day or about their feelings felt as though they were talking to another person rather than a machine. I asked her to my office and sat her down at the keyboard and then she began to type. And of course, I looked over her shoulder to make sure that everything was operating properly. After two or three interchanges with the, with the machine, she turned to me and she said, would you mind leaving the room, please? Our organization, the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab at MIT, um, started in 1963 when the world was um, uh, not what it is today. The, the world of technology looked so different than uh, today. And computers were big and, and expensive and, and only a handful of people knew what to do with them. At the time, it was genuinely audacious to imagine a computer that had the intelligence required to exchange a conversation uh, with a human. The revolutionary personal narratives that Eliza laid the foundation for influenced today's contemporary virtual assistants such as Alexa and Siri. Eliza served as a springboard for so many other technologies that got developed since the 60s. So now with access to massive amounts of data We've been able to improve our language models. And we have these extraordinary conversational systems that understand our consumer needs, that understand our frustrations, and that understand them based on what we say and how we say it. Eliza's influence in AI is monumental and stands as an early indication of the growth potential of how interactive storytelling and technology can strengthen the human experience. Well, the social experiment of Eliza uh, was um, fairly shallow communication. Every shred of empathy was powerful in connecting to humans and preparing for the future means making scalable computational empathy. And just imagine what we can do as we continue moving uh, from a little bit of empathy in how we communicate to strong and powerful emotional connection when we exchange ideas. We are so honored and proud uh, to see our work recognized with a Peabody Award. It really talks to how this organization, CSAIL, uh, has helped shape the, the history of computing. ELISA was a pioneering project. Uh, it defined a whole field of natural language understanding, and uh, it has so many important successors in the history of developing natural language understanding. We're immensely proud and honored to be recognized with the Peabody Award. For the foundational work of using software to create empathy, connections, and hold a mirror to each of our personal narratives, Eliza wins a Peabody.